We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Hello friends, let us uh, begin the topic of uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors which will be uh, very useful in as far as even examination is also concerned. So let us begin the topic of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Okay, let us first define the concept here. So, any non zero vector X is said to be an eigenvector of a matrix A. It is a square matrix you are given. If there exist a number lambda such that a x equal to lambda x where a is a square matrix say a i j and x is a column matrix like this x1 x2 and so on xn this is a non zero this is a non zero vector okay now this lambda is called eigenvalue lambda is called eigenvalue of a matrix A. This is also called characteristic root. So, next see we are having a x equal to lambda x we can write this as lambda i x okay? and uh, So, here uh, uh, a x equal to lambda x lambda i x. So, this we can write a minus lambda i x and this is a 0 vector 0 matrix. Now, this matrix a minus lambda i. So, the matrix a minus lambda i this is called the characteristic matrix this 
is called the characteristic matrix of A. So here determinant now next is so determinant of A minus lambda i. So how it looks like? It looks like this A11 minus lambda A12 and so on A1n then A21 A22 minus lambda and A2n this is a A1n and so on An1 An2 and so on Ann minus lambda so this is nothing but a polynomial in lambda of degree n so this is called a characteristic polynomial that is called a characteristic polynomial of A and the equation determinant of A minus lambda i equal to 0 this is called characteristic equation this is called a characteristic equation and if we solve this equation so the roots of this characteristic equation is called the roots of characteristic equation are called eigenvalues of matrix A so our aim is now to find out how to find out the eigen values so if you are having a suppose say 2 by 2 matrix so suppose A 2 by 2 matrix so first we need to find out the characteristic polynom <coughs> polynomial so in 2 by 2 matrix characteristic polynomial is like this it is lambda square minus s1 lambda plus s2 equal to 0 where s1 equal to sum of uh, main diagonal elements it is also called trace of A and S2 is determinant of A. Similarly, if we have a 3 by 3 matrix, say suppose A is a 3 by 3 matrix, then how to find out the characteristic polynomial? So it is lambda cube minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 equal to 0 where s1 equal to sum of main diagonal elements. So that is also called the trace of A. Then S2 is sum of minors. We know how to find out the minors of main diagonal elements. And S3 
is determinant a and there are some properties that we shall discuss later on but at least one or two property you we can mention here that the sum of eigen values so that at least you can check whether your eigen values are correct or not is nothing but the sum of the principal diagonal element that means trace of a and product of eigen values product of eigen values and that is nothing but determinant of a so that you can check whether your answer is correct or not okay let us uh, solve uh, examples so so let us solve some examples question is find the eigen values and eigen vectors of the matrix phi 4 1 2 so let us first take 2 by 2 so let us see. so let a equal to phi 4 1 2 now first we find characteristic equation and characteristic equation is determinant a minus lambda i equal to 0 and uh, another way is also this one lambda square minus s1 lambda plus s2 equal to 0 so that is lambda square minus s1 lambda plus s2 equal to 0 where s1 is the trace of a that means the sum of the diagonal element that is phi plus 2 so that is phi plus 2 and so that is a c1 s2 is determinant a and so that is a determinant 5 4 1 2 so that is now that we know how to find phi 2 is a 10 then minus 1 into 4 4 and so that is 6 so therefore characteristic equation is lambda square minus s1 lambda so minus c1 lambda and plus s2 so 6 equal to 0 now we need to solve this equation so that is not difficult 6 1 6 minus 6 minus 1 so that is lambda minus 1 lambda minus 6 equal to 0 and therefore lambda equal to 1 comma 6 so therefore eigen values are 1 6 now we find eigen vectors corresponding to each eigen value so eigen vector for say lambda equal to 1 now so eigen vector for lambda equal to 1 so we need like we need to write the equation a minus lambda i x equal to 0 so a minus lambda lambda is 1 so a minus i x equal to 0 now here we are having a here and a minus lambda so a minus lambda looks like this a minus lambda i is phi 
minus lambda 4 1 and 2 minus lambda so from that a minus i lambda is 1 so phi minus 1 then 4 then 1 2 minus 1 okay and x so x we can write say x y and 0 matrix is 0 matrix so this is nothing but 4 4 1 1 x y equal to 0 0 so basically we are having only one equation that is x plus y equal to 0 if i write 4 x plus 4 y that is also x plus y okay so only one equation x plus y equal to 0 so if we can take say y equal to t then x is minus t and therefore x is equal to eigenvector x y and so x is minus t y is t and so we can write t minus 1 1 okay so therefore uh, eigenvector for lambda equal to 1 is a vector minus 1 1 now we can find eigenvector for lambda equal to 4 6 sorry so eigenvector for lambda equal to 6 and so uh, again we are having like a minus lambda i x is so this is a minus 6 i x and so this is equal to phi minus 6 4 1 2 minus 6 and this is x y n equal to 0 0 so that is minus 1 4 1 minus 4 x y equal to 0 0 and here also we can see that minus x plus 4 y x minus 4 y so both are the same equation so we have basically only one equation minus x plus 4 y equal to 0 and here also if we can take y equal to say t then x is equal to 4 t ok so therefore x is equal to x y and so this is 4 t t and so this is t 4 1 and therefore eigenvector for lambda equal to 6 is a vector 4 1 ok let us solve one more example find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix 4 6 6 1 3 2 minus 1 minus 4 minus 3 so let us solve so let a equal to 4 6 6 1 3 2 minus 1 minus 4 minus 3 now we know what is the characteristic equation so characteristic equation we know this is a minus lambda i and its determinant is equal to 0 ok and uh, we also have the characteristic equation
as lambda cube minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 equal to 0. Now s1, so that is nothing but the trace of A and trace of A that means sum of the principal diagonal elements and so that is 4 plus 3 plus minus 3 and that is 4. S2, S2 is nothing but the sum of minors of principal diagonal elements of A. And so, now let us find the uh, principal diagonal element for say 4. So, for 4 the principal diagonal element you have to just hide the first uh, column, first row. These are the four elements we are having and these four elements we need to find its determinant. So, that is the minor of 4. So, that is uh, 3, 2, minus 4, minus 3, then plus. Now, the minor of this 3. So, we need to hide this second column, second row. So, these are the four elements 4, 6, minus 1 minus 3. So, 4, 6, minus 1, minus 3. Then, the minor of this minus 3. So, we have to hide the third column, third row. So, these four elements are there, 4, 6, 1, 3. So, the next is 4, 6, 1, 3. And, it is easy to find the determinant. This is minus 9, plus 8, then next minus 12 plus 6, next 12 minus 6, and then we can easily find this is minus 1, minus 6, plus 6 and so that is minus 1. What is S3? S3 is determinant of A. So, determinant of A, so 4, 6, 6, then 1, 3, 2, then minus 1, minus 4, minus 3. Okay. So, let us find the determinant. So, that is 4. We know how to find out the 4. Then we need to consider these 4 elements. And so, that is minus 9 plus 8. Then minus sign and this 6. So, 6. And what are the 4 elements? The you have to hide second row first column. So, this 1 minus 3 minus 1. So, minus 3 plus 2. Then plus 6. So, you need to take these 4 elements. So, minus 4 plus 3. And so, this is equal to minus 4. Then plus 6 and then minus 6. So, that is nothing but minus 4. So, therefore, characteristic equation is lambda cube minus s1 lambda square and s1 is 4. So, minus 4 lambda square then plus s2 lambda now, S2 is minus 1. So, this is a minus lambda and plus minus S3 and S3 is minus 4. So, minus S3 that means it is minus minus plus 4 and that is equal to 0. Now, 
we need to find the values of lambda that means we need to solve this equation so first let us solve by trial and error so if i take say lambda equal to 1 does this equation satisfied left side you put the value of lambda to be 1 here so this is 1 then minus 4 minus 1 plus 4 and so equal to 0 that means lambda equal to 1 is a root now once lambda equal to 1 is a root you can easily find the other so this is the method you put 1 here that is a root put the coefficient of this polynomial that is a 1 minus 4 minus 1 and 4 ok then begin by writing 0 here then you add these two add these two and so this is 1 then multiply these two so this is a 1 again add these two so this is minus 3 then multiply these two so minus 3 again add these two so this is minus 4 then multiply these two so this is minus 4 and here it is 0 so now we are having in one bracket you are having lambda minus 1 because 1 is a root so lambda minus 1 is a factor and from these these are the coefficient of the remaining so that means uh, now lambda cube is there so it will be now from lambda square minus 3 lambda minus 4 equal to 0 so this will become from here now now this is minus 4 so you have 3 ones are 3 minus 3 you need to find out the uh, roots so this is 4 ones are 4 minus 4 plus 1 so this is lambda minus 1 lambda minus 4 lambda plus 1 equal to 0 and therefore lambda equal to 1 4 minus 1 and therefore the eigenvalues are 1 4 minus 1 here you can verify your eigenvalues like the product here is what product is minus 4 and product is same as determinant so what is the determinant minus 4 then sum is the trace sum is 4 sum is 4 here sum of the eigenvalues 4 and s1 what is trace trace is also 4 so that means our eigenvalues are correct now find eigenvectors for each eigenvalues so what is a minus lambda i so that let us write here so that is a 4 minus lambda 6 6 1 3 minus lambda 2 minus 1 minus 4 minus 3 minus lambda now let us find the eigenvector for lambda equal to 1 eigenvector for lambda equal to 1 and that is nothing but a minus lambda i x equal to 0 so a minus i x equal to 0 and so this is equal to 4 lambda is 1 so 4 minus 1 so this is 3 6 6 1 this is 3 minus 1 so this is 2 2 minus 1 minus 4 and this is minus 3 minus 1 so that is minus 4 and x y z equal to 0 0 0 so now we take uh, the equations uh, see here uh, we observe that 3 6 6 so 3x 6y 6z if i divide by 3 
it will be x 2 y 2 z. So, these two equation are same. So, only we take these two equation consider second and third ok. We would like to use the grammar rule let us see how. So, this is x plus 2 y plus 2 z equal to 0 that is from second because first and second same and third minus x minus 4 y minus 4 z equal to 0 and now by Kramer's rule now this is easy x over then equal to minus y over and equal to z over. Now, x over you just hide the x. So, consider the coefficient of y z here and here. So, these four elements write down in the determinant that is 2 2 minus 4 minus 4. Similarly, for y you need to write the coefficient of this x and the coefficient of z. So, that is uh, 1 2 minus 1 minus 4 and for z you write the coefficient of x and y. So, that is 1 2 minus 1 minus 4 and so this is now x over it is easy to find the determinant minus 8 plus 8. So, that determinant is 0 minus y over this is not divisible divided by 0 ok do take care it is a ratio minus 4 plus 2 minus 4 plus 2 ok. So, that is minus 2 equal to z over this is minus 4 plus 2 and so that is minus 2 and so this is x over 0 y by 2 z by minus 2 and so we can also write this is x y over even 1 because you can take this uh, and z over minus 1 because it is a ratio and therefore x is equal to x y z and so this is equal to 0 t minus t or you can say t 0 1 minus 1 and therefore eigenvector for lambda equal to 1 is 0 1 minus 1. Now, we can find eigenvector for lambda equal to 4. So, that is a minus lambda i x and therefore, a minus 4 i x and therefore, now a minus 4. So, we need to take minus 4 here, here minus 4 minus 4 and so that is nothing but 0. Then 6 6, then this is 1 2 and 3 minus 4, so minus 1, so 1 minus 1, 2. Then minus 1 minus 4 minus 3 minus 4, so minus 7, so minus 1 minus 4 minus 7. Then this is x, y, z and that is equal to 0, 0, 0. So, we are having 0 into x plus 6 into y plus 6 into z equal to 0 or you can say 0 into x plus 1 into y 
plus 1 into z equal to 0 from first and from second we have x minus y plus 2 z equal to 0 and by Kramer's rule you can take second and third you can take first and third you will get the same answer x over now we can easily find the value here 1 1 minus 1 2 1 1 minus 1 2 equal to minus y over so you do not write to this you have to write this one this one this one and this one that is 0 1 1 2 and z over so this 4 that is 0 1 1 minus 1 and so this is now determinant x over this is a 2 2 plus 1 so that is 3 this determinant 0 minus 1 so that is minus 1 this determinant 0 minus 1 so that is minus 1 so uh, we are having like this therefore x by 3 y 1 z minus 1 equal to t and so eigenvector this x is equal to x y z so this is now 3 t t minus t and so this is 3 1 minus 1 and therefore eigenvector for lambda equal to 4 is 3 1 minus 1 next we can find the eigenvector for lambda equal to minus 1 eigenvector for lambda equal to minus 1 and uh, so here we need to take a minus lambda i x equal to o therefore a plus i x is equal to o and so we are having uh, now ok so therefore a plus i ok so now here 4 plus 1 Okay, so that will be nothing but phi lambda is minus 1 so this is phi and remaining two elements same 6 6 next is 1 now lambda is minus 1 so minus 1 here is 3 minus minus 1 so that is nothing but 4 and other elements same next is minus 1 minus 4 and the minus 3 plus 1 so that is minus 2 then x y z n is equal to 0 0 0 so now this is nothing but 5x plus 6y plus 6z equal to 0 x plus 4y plus 2z equal to 0 
now we can apply Kramer's rule that is not difficult now so x over coefficient of y z that is 6 6 4 2 equal to minus y over coefficient of x and z 5 6 1 2 equal to z upon coefficient of x and y 5 6 1 4 and so we can have x this is 6 2 za 12 minus 24 so that is minus 12 then minus y this is uh, pi to the 10 minus 6 so that is 4 and here 20 minus 6 so that is 14 and that is equal to t and therefore we can have x over we can have the 2 divided by 2 so that is minus 2 no sorry minus 6 then y over uh, divided by 2 so minus 2 and z over 7 so the eigenvector x x y z and that is a uh, minus 6 t minus 2 t 7 t you can take even minus t also outside no problem or t also so both are the same 6 2 minus 7 and so therefore eigenvector for lambda equal to minus 1 is 6 2 minus 7 so this is the way you can able to solve the example thank you